hey guys it's Trey back again with another video and in the last video we finished up our ticket service so now we have all of our crud methods available in our front end um, in this video I want to go ahead and create a very important component which is going to be our ticket form so um, the ticket form is going to be used for basically anything so when we want to view a ticket uh, when we want to create a ticket when we want to update a ticket or any of that stuff we're going to do it in um, our ticket form so um, let's go ahead and start on that so what we're going to do is back in our source folder we're going to create a new folder called components so inside of that components folder, we're going to call uh, create a new folder called uh, ticket form. And inside of ticket form, we're going to create a file called ticket form dot js. And then we're also going to create another file called ticket form dot css. So our ticket form dot js file is where we're going to create our component. I have a package will allow me to use a snippet to create a new functional react component so I just type in RFCE and hit enter and it'll create a component for me a functional component um, if you want to be able to do this you can just go over here to on the left side and click on this extensions tab type in react snippets and this is the one that I'm using here so it's created by this guy alright and if you do that you should be able to use RFC to create a new functional component um, now that we have that, I want to um, go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add in some props here. So the props are just going to be the information for the ticket. So if we want to look at a ticket, we'll click on that ticket and we'll pass in all that ticket's information into this form. And the way we do that is through these props. So um, inside the parentheses, we want to create um, a, a new object. So the curly braces. And then we just want to pass in the information. So a ticket has an ID, a summary, has a priority, it has a status, create date, and update date. All right. So let's go ahead and set some default values for these. So for the ID, we'll set the default to nothing, summary, priority, and status. We'll just leave them as blank and create date we will set as a new date and the same for update date it'll be a new date alright so there's that and there are two other props that we want to pass in so the first one is going to be is this form read only and we'll set the default to false so basically if the forms read only then we won't be able to change any of these um, fields but if it's not read only, we'll be able to change these three fields. And the reason why we're only changing these three fields is because these dates are automatically created and this create date won't ever be changed. And update date will be, um, it's automatic. It's automatically changed. We don't want users to be able to change the update date. And then also ID won't ever change. If it's the ID, it's the ID. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to pass in a function that can be used whenever the submit button is hit on this form so whenever we click the submit button we want to take all of this information from the ticket and do something with it either we're going to be updating it creating a new ticket deleting it whatever but we want to be able to uh, do something with it so that's where this on submit function will come into play and we'll set it to a default of just nothing which is going to be an empty function that does nothing all right so there we go and that is pretty much it for our props so we have everything set up and now we can go ahead and get into the body of this component so once we're in here we want to be able to create um, some state to hold the updated values for these because remember we will be able to update these values if read only is false so we need to create uh, three pieces of state that will hold the information for those changing values. So the way we'll do this is we'll say use state. Make sure you import the use state from React. 
And once you do that, we can go ahead and create these states. So the first thing we need is summary. And I'm going to call it T summary so that we don't have any name collisions or anything. And then we'll set it to summary for to start with. And we'll have the priority, which I'll call T priority. And we'll set that to priority to start with. And then last but not least, we will have T status. And we'll set that to status to start off with. And I shorted that. So let's fix that. All right. So now we have this information that will keep track of the changes that happen in this form. All right. So now we can get into creating the HTML for it. So in the div, I'm going to pass in the class name of ticket form in this outer div. And then I'm going to create an inner div here. And this will have a class name of form. All right. We're not actually going to do any styling in this video, but I just want uh, to have the stuff in place. So um, once we do that, we can go ahead and um, set up the actual form. So we're just going to set up um, some labels and some inputs for these values here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a label, and this is going to be our ID label. So we're going to say HTML4, and we'll say ID, and then we're going to create an input. This input value is going to be of type number, and the value is going to be ID. and it's always going to be disabled. So we'll have that for our ID. And next up is summary. So let's create a label. It'll be summary. And we'll do HTML4, call it summary. And then we have another input, which will be a type text. The value will be T summary and then we'll say on change so if this value is changed then we want to set T summary and we'll set it to E dot target dot value sorry about that I forgot the E here make sure you put the E there so it knows where to get it from and one last thing is disabled it's only true if read only is true so we'll disable this we'll disable this input if read only is true all right um oh one thing i have been forgetting is the name so make sure you put the names here summary and also for id let's put a name in um and then the name will be id just to match that all right so i've done that i'm going to copy and paste these for the uh, priority here so we're going to have priority and then uh, actually we're going to swap this out and call this a select box this is going to be a select box so we'll change this all right so I've changed this to a select box we can get rid of the type I guess we can keep name here this will be T priority this will also be set T priority alright disable read only and then inside of here we need to have some values some options so we're going to create three options so priority will either be low it'll be medium or it'll be high so that's the priorities and that should handle everything for that I'm gonna copy and paste this for our statuses as well so we'll change this to status and then these values will be changed so we'll have created um, rejected I guess 
it's like in progress and then we'll have another option that says um, I guess like complete or something like that all right or let's just say completed okay so now we have that looks like I have an issue somewhere let's see you match there you should match ah that shouldn't be there there we go I right, had a typo in mine so okay so now we have our status which is um, also a select box and the last two will be probably more similar to the ID so I'm going to copy that from the ID underneath the select box we're going to drop this off we're going to call this create date and then we'll have it here create date this will be a date field the ID will be create date that's the value name create date all right I think that should do it And then I'm going to do the same thing for update date. Update date. Okay. So one thing about these date inputs is if we just pass in a date, it's going to say that it's not in the correct format. So what we're going to end up having to do is format these dates. So these will be actual date, like JavaScript date objects. And we need to format them to be compatible with these input objects which take in um, I'm just gonna go in here and show you guys so underneath here so it takes in a date that's let me scroll down so you can see so it taking a date that looks like this so it'll be year month day so we need to format these dates into a string that looks like this in order for it to be compatible with this input all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a utility class that does this for us so let's go ahead and go to our source folder we're going to create a new folder called util and inside this util folder we're going to create a new file called date util.js all right so from there i'm just going to um, copy and paste some code in but basically this is the what this code does is it actually takes that date and puts it in the correct format that i just showed you guys uh, you can pause the video copy this over or just get the code from github however you want to do it but um, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna actually just use those functions so here we're going to say format date and we're gonna wrap that date in this function so format date and that will take that date and put it in the correct format now what we need to do is also import this function from our utility class so we're going to say import and then we'll say format date from dot 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 slash util slash date util so now we're pulling in that format date function from our date util file okay so from here the last thing to do is add in our button to actually submit this form so we're going to say button and then the name of this button will be submit and then we need an on click and this on click will call our um, on submit function that we passed in from here so this is what's being passed in from from outside so when we create this form somewhere so what we're going to do is we're going to say on submit and that's the function from up there and then we're gonna pass in all of the values from um, for this ticket so all of these ID summary party status all that stuff so they can handle it and do whatever they want with that information so we have um, the ID we're gonna pass in not summary but the T summary and pass in T priority and T status all right, then we'll pass in the create date and the update date. All right, so we're going to call that function and we're going to pass in all this information. So when you create the function that you're going to pass into here, you know that when we call it, we're going to pass you this information back. 
okay so you can handle it um, however you want alright and that should do it for this video we have created our ticket form this form will be able to take in the information it will be able to update the information and it will also allow you to do something with that information when you click submit alright so that's pretty much it for this video it's a little bit longer but um, it's a very important component so we need to go ahead and get that out of the way um, but thanks for watching like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video